Hi, I am Dr. Rajdeep. I am a dermatologist and dermatosurgeon practicing at Charma in JP Nagar Second Phase, Bangalore. Psoriasis is a very common skin condition seen by dermatologists, and the most common area that psoriasis affects is the scalp. So many people think that they have dandruff, and when they go to a dermatologist, uh, they get diagnosed with scalp psoriasis. Can dandruff cause psoriasis? What is the difference between dandruff and psoriasis? So these two conditions are very similar. Both of them cause flakes, both of them cause itching, inflammation, and both of them are on the scalp. Both of them get worse in winter. So it's very difficult sometimes to differentiate between these two conditions. Sometimes these two conditions coexist, and we call them as sebo psoriasis. So it's an overlap of dandruff and psoriasis. Dandruff uh, medically is called as seborrheic dermatitis. So the overlap condition is called as sebo psoriasis. Fortunately, the treatment for dandruff and psoriasis is similar. So whether we differentiate between dandruff and psoriasis is not that important than controlling the symptoms. When it starts spreading to other areas, it gives a clue that this might be psoriasis. Psoriasis usually has patches which occur on the same place. whereas dandruff can occur in different areas and psoriasis has thick raised patches which we call as plaques whereas dandruff is just peeling of the scalp skin there are usually no raised patches or plaques and when you shave the head dandruff can also be seen as uh, round patches on the scalp but that's more flat and usually on the level of the scalp whereas psoriasis is a bit raised so these are subtle differences between these two conditions which most of the dermatologists will be able to differentiate treatment wise apart from local applications which usually contain some steroid lotions there are other internal medicines as well and these internal medicines require a blood check uh, so that we rule out any other organ involvement and we rule out any other conditions before starting the medication conditions that can be caused by the medication itself there are medicines like cyclosporin methotrexate apremilast which are all immunomodulators and these affect the immune system so usually oral medication is not given for scalp psoriasis unless it is too severe but if the psoriasis is spreading to other parts of the body or it's not controlled by use of steroid lotions then patients are started on immunomodulators so i'd like to give this message to all people suffering from psoriasis that uh, i know it's a difficult condition but your dermatologist will help you to manage it to a large extent and with various innovations including the production of a new class of medicines called biologics psoriasis is almost uh, 100% controllable but it requires regular maintenance and with regular treatment and good control of the disease you can lead normal lives